All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris Temple, uh, also formerly known as L Director and all that jazz, stuff like that. But anyway, what I want to show you guys today is something really, really, really cool. And that has to do with uh, designing your end credits for your short or independent feature length film. As of right now, the gold standard for us is a website called endcrawl.com. You go there, you sign up for an account, they send you a spreadsheet template where you start plugging in all your data, you send that back to them, and then they give you your professional end credits. And you can have different columns and different headings. You can add logos into it and stuff like that too. And it, it makes it really easy to do. The problem is the cost that they charge for that service. You're looking at sometimes about $2,000, which, hey, I've done a couple movies for less than $2,000. So like that's like my entire budget or more than my budget right there. So that doesn't make sense. You can also use the title generators in your editing software, okay? That's perfectly fine and, and you can do that. The problem is when you're trying to line things up the way you want them to line up and appear the where you want them to be, you can run some issues with that. And especially if you're trying to bring logos and images into the mix. Uh, up until recently, kind of the, the, the workaround for this was to create a Photoshop document and build up all your credits in one big, really tall, there you go, like Photoshop file, you know, skinny, nice and tall, and then bring that into your editing software and then just scroll through that. And that was another way that you could do it. Uh, there's been a lot of tutorials about building up your credits inside of Fusion. And I was actually a part of a documentary series where that's what we ended up doing is everything was built inside of Fusion, uh, inside, actually, I think we used Fusion standalone for that one. We didn't use the Fusion page, but yeah, we built our credits inside of Fusion and it was a nightmare. It was a pain in the butt. So today I want to show you a better way that I have recently found. And I came across this because I was looking for like how to do credits at, for free or for cheap for your movie. Cause I'm working on trying to get my movie finished up. We're almost done. I'm in the middle of working on sound design and music for it right now. So we're getting very, very, very close. And I was like, oh yeah, I need to get my, my credits made up. So let me show you guys what I found. This is really cool. And I think you're gonna like this. All right, so uh, you just need to fire up a web browser and go to cinecred.com, okay? Cinecred.com. And when you get here, you're gonna see a website that looks like this. It's nothing super fancy or anything. And just go ahead and download the one that works for you. So we can see we've got a Linux version, we've got a Mac version, both uh, ARM and Intel. Uh, ARM would be like your M1, M2, M3, that kind of stuff, your actual Apple processors. And then you got Windows MSI as well. So you could also run this on Windows. Now, in order to make this work, you are going to need a spreadsheet editor of some sorts, okay? I like using numbers. You could use Excel. You could use LibreOffice Calc. Uh, all those will work just fine. And what's gonna happen, I'll just kind of scroll down here through the, the webpage and show you. Uh, we're gonna use a spreadsheet to enter our credits, just like you would with ncrawl, okay? And then inside the program, when you save your spreadsheet, it gives you like a live preview of how everything is lined up. And then we can also go through and actually, let's see, does it tell us here? It's not showing us here. Yeah, here you go. You can actually do like a play blast and actually watch them in real time and see how they go. So let's see how this looks in practice, shall we? I'm going to open up Cinecred. Okay, here we are. And I'm just gonna create a new project in this case. I'm gonna choose where I wanna put my stuff. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop just to make things easy right now. Okay, now at this page, you're going to choose what your project settings are. Is it a regular scope project or are you just doing full HD? Uh, I think for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just leave it at the default settings, which is actually what I used for my movie. 2048 by 858 at a solid 24 frames a second. You can also go with your integral frame rates uh, or integer frame rates, you know, 2398, 2997, that kind of stuff, or we can go full on. And then uh, we're gonna go simple credits. So this will give us kind of a template that we can work with. And this is really handy. And then you choose your credits file format down here. So if you're gonna use calc, you can do that. Um, if you have Excel, use Excel. Also, if you are gonna use numbers, use Excel as well. And I'll show you why. So I hit create new project. And we're off and running. Okay, this doesn't look like much right now. There's not a whole lot going on. Um, 
basically what this will allow us to do is create uh, like credits that fade on and off. Okay, credits that fade on and off. And then you can also then do your scrolling credits here too. So how do we go about changing all of this data? Well, if I click this folder icon right up here, this is going to show my project folder in the project browser. And I can see I have this credits.xlsx file. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. In my case, it's going to open in numbers because that's what I have. I don't have anything else installed on here. And this is where everything is gonna take place. I highly suggest reading all this information up here at the top. This tells you about the styling and how this all works. And it won't take you long to play around with this and figure it out. Biggest thing we need to know is this column here. Column, I don't have a number on it, that's okay. But the, yeah, there we go, column H. Page style. This says card, this says card, this says scroll. If I jump back over to Cinecred, I can see I've got a card. I've got a card. And then we've got scrolling credits as well. So that is how, if I come back into here, that is how we're telling Cinecred what to do with our project. So I could say a L director film. I'm going to put an and because I, you can't do two vowels next to each other. An L director film, executive producers, that works fine like that. And then uh, we start getting into the, the, the business end of stuff. So you've got your cast that's going to appear, right? You've got your crew members and I'm going to change like, you know, my cast here instead of Daisy Daxton, I'm going to say Daisy Duke, just to show you that I've made the change here. Okay. You've got some extras in what locations they're in bullets is telling you that, Hey, these are going to be bullet point, um, bits inside of your credits. we got songs, special thanks, a bunch of funny legal jargon down here. Highly recommend reading that. All right, now that I'm ready to export this out, I'm gonna go File, uh, Export to Excel, and I wanna make sure I find where the actual file is. So I'm gonna come over back to my desktop because I don't wanna overwrite my existing stuff. There it is, hit Export, Replace. Now if I jump back into Cinecred, we can see it now says an L Director Film. Okay, and if I go over to my scrolling credits here, let's see. Uh, yep, there's Daisy Duke right up there at the top. Now there's a preview button I can click. And if I hit play, this is now going to play the credits uh, as I program them. So here's our two cards, right? Two title cards. And then now the scrolling actually begins. And like, can we just look at this for a sec, guys? Like, seriously, look at how smooth it is. Look at the, the, the formatting, right? We've got character names one way we've got the actor names being nice and bold the way it should be we get into the crew that's all looking nice and professional as well extras are coming out as like bullet points like this you can also use this for like all your visual effects artists and things depending on what you've got going on for the film and then what's really cool you get down here there's like a logo section and stuff like that which is just awesome so let me show you an active project that i've been working on for my actual movie so I'm going to just shut this down. So let's try this again. We're gonna go into Cinecred. I'm gonna open up my Leap 3 credits. Here's the project. And what I'm most interested in is over here on my scrolling credits. And you can see down here at the bottom, I've got logos because we used Blackmagic cameras and software. I used Canon lenses, I used Blender, I used Nuke, Acousta Mixcraft for the score, and of course Cinecred for the end credits. And if I preview them, I'll make them bigger. Okay, we can see that this is just looking really, really, really nice. I'm going to jump forward to where the scroll starts. Here we go. I mean, look at that, guys. It's so cool. And it's so easy. Once you get the hang of that spreadsheet, you can do whatever you want with it. So this is the credits for my movie. I've got a special thanks section in here, special thanks to different businesses. Added a couple logos, right? Flathead Film Society, which I started out here. Um, the equipment that I used. Filmed in around, blah, 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 blah. And then a final copyright, which watch this. Watch how the copyright just comes up and it's gonna stay in the middle of the screen once it's isolated. Boom, and then fades out. Very nice, very professional, very cool. So when you get your credits all laid out the way you want them, and again, I can click this folder if I need to make any changes. So I can click that. Uh, I can open up my numbers document. Okay, here we are. 
I can come in, I can make my changes again, add things, subtract things, all that kind of stuff. Just really pay attention to your page style, which you shouldn't have to worry about once you get into the scroll, but then you also need to look at content style here as well. Okay, content style is gonna make bullets versus heading versus song, tabulars, logos, all that kind of stuff. When it comes to logos and adding logos to your project, uh, let's see here, if I click back into here, you can see that there is a logos folder where you save your Cinecred file. And so all you have to do is come in here and dump your logos into here and just know what name they are. So then when I come in and I wanna add a logo, you just follow the syntax and replace the name with the name of your actual logo that you want to use. And then Cinecred takes care of arranging all the stuff automatically. Like I didn't have to think about where these things were positioned. I just add them all in there in the order I want and it took care of the rest. I did have to do a little bit of sizing, okay? And you can do that here. Uh, let's see, where it says X150 or X80, X200, that's the size of the logo. And so it's just trial and error. You do it, you export it, you jump back in here, see how it looks and make your changes you know, accordingly from there. Cool. Uh, once you're ready to export your credits and you're, you're happy with how everything looks, okay, it automatically will adjust your runtime for you. But we can come up here and click this button here which says show high delivery window and you can export them. And here's the really cool part is look at all these different options. You can do image sequences. You can do an H.264 file if you need to. You can do ProRes or DNxHR, other image sequences as well. Uh, sorry, these were the whole page still. So if you want to export everything all in one go uh, and then do your manual scroll or you can actually export a video file. I want to show you guys how quick this is. I'm going to do this as a ProRes file and I'm just going to throw this on my desktop so it's easy to find. So we're going to go to desktop. Uh, credits, credits, render, sure. Hit save. I'm doing this in ProRes 422 at 2048 by 58 at 24 frames a second. Now watch how fast this goes. I'm going to add it to my render queue and then process my render queue. And literally in like 10 seconds, I've got them done. So if I close this out, I'm gonna close out Cinecred, I'm gonna close out my number stock, and let's go here to my desktop. Here we are, credits, credits, render. I can look at the information, I can see it's a 312 megabyte file. And if I double click that, it opens in my QuickTime, make it full screen. And now I'm playing my credits and we're off and running. So there's the beginning. Produced by Power Studios. Then I've got a producer card that comes on. Okay. And then now the, the credit scroll will start. There we go. And it's just, it's so smooth and it looks so, so, so good. So yeah, I, I just, I have to share that with you guys. And if we get down to the logos, we are, okay. Logos are perfectly in line. You'll see as the, the Flight Film Society comes up. Okay, it's tagged in perfectly. That all looks great. And then here comes the brand logos. Okay, they're in full color. I can make them black and white if I wanted. You just you design all that in Photoshop, you know? And it's just, it's so awesome. So yeah, I just, I really had to share that with you guys. I was going back and forth on do I or don't I actually share this with you because this is a game changer for independent filmmakers. Yes, it's a little techie and a little bit nerdy. You have to, you know, figure out how the, the spreadsheet works out, but you can get some really, really cool and some really professional results with it. And uh, hopefully it helps elevate your independent productions and short films as well. So thanks for watching. I'm Chris Temple. We'll see you next time.